Okay, so this energy is, uh, you're gonna know it's for you because you already feel like, you know, you know that kind of like that waiting period where you've put out all this stuff, you've put out, you've put out, uh, oh, okay, let's go, I love this. You've put out little, you've swiped left. I think it's right, but ugh, I don't, I don't know about those dating apps, okay. But you've swiped right and it's coming. You've put out a job application. It's, everything's in the works. All these things that you've been putting out, you can feel it coming now because you're starting to get responses. And although the responses are very exciting, sometimes they can be a little like, oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nevertheless, things are coming in. During these things that are coming in, there is something <laughs> being divinely set up. And that's what makes me get all like, giddy because I, I'm a spiritualist and I do, and my uh, things that I dabble in, meaning study and <clears throat> you know uh, uh, have been proven effective I'm like oh damn um, I like numerology and I like uh, synchronicity all that fun stuff when you do think about things and they show up right in front of you that's really cool um, but be careful with the limerence there because just because it's in your head doesn't mean it's in somebody else's head. So um, there's that. But you're going to know this is for you because it is, It's you can already feel it. Like feelings are incredibly, um, literally, wow. Whatever you've been doing to, uh, people are kicking dirt in your eye, especially if you're in your masculine energy. You know, the doing energy, the protective energy, uh, the defensiveness is uh, spiritually kicking things in your eyes. So, um you know, just, you know, rub it off. It's kind of interesting. Uh, get it out. You got to be able to see clearly, you know, um, at least third, third eye seeing. Um, I do love dipping into uh, chakra work uh, because I got to get unblocked and the epiphanies that are happening because of that uh, monumental. And I literally am waking up on a day-to-day -day basis now going, well, what's the breakthrough today? <laughs> I'll tell you what the breakthrough th today is. Um, like this saying kept popping up, y'all. This saying kept popping up. That was, uh, if uh, the past starts calling you back, there's something about your future the past doesn't want you to see. All right, cool. Well, it certainly was. So we've got this energy, right? And every time I see the King of Cups, I think about Nick Arnstein from, or Nick Arnstein from uh, Funny Girl. Uh, just this very, very charismatic, very social butterfly, very grounded energy of being put together and having, like, being able to uh, let stuff slide off the back, let stuff, um, you know, just being like in the moment. Excellent energy. Well, that's transforming the way they, uh, another saying that, that, that kept popping up was, um, if you stop counting yourself out, the universe will stop counting you out too. So this is about confidence as well. So being in this energy, um, and seeing things lack, Ooh, is it lack or is it just the universe going, no, not for you. No, not for you. Not for you. And you're like, why do I feel like it's me? Because it is you, but you're not going to attract uh, things of, of, of this. You're not going to, like the things that you're around <laughs> don't have this energy. This is the energy of like being without. Whatever is without this energy that you're putting out there, this Nick Onstein, this very, um, you know, positive um it's just so charismatic. Like, people love the King of Cups. It's like, oh my gosh, here comes that out. You make people feel better. So it's like, you walk into a room. I'm having a deja vu right now. I love that. Um, but you walk into a room and you're like, you, you change the mood of it. Uh, people just know. So, um, people may even be like, uh... You just linger on peepers, peepers minds. <laughs> so, um, that's causing this transform, transformational effect that's actually, um, even though it, you feel like it leaves you isolated, it actually leaves you on a radar. Because then you get temperance. You're gonna know if this is, you're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, oh my god, yeah, this is the confirmation. Um, <laughs> then you get this magic being, be patient, king of cups. 
because you can't walk around all magical and expect the same amount of magic. You just can't. You, I mean, we wish we could. Aren't we working on the perfect world? Um, and that sounds a little bit like historical, and I shouldn't say things like that because, but I don't feel that way. You know, this isn't about like world domination. This is about coming together. And you got the hangman. <laughs> Here's the stuck feeling. Oh no, it's because we're worried. Why are we worried? Well, we're worried because we're transforming. Oh, I loved it. There's this reader uh, named Chelsea Gomez that was talking about um, the butterfly and like how if a caterpillar only knew that <clears throat> it was going to turn into something completely different, it wouldn't fight the change so much. It's true. Um, a caterpillar has no idea what's happening to it. It just knows that it's supposed to go on this journey, find a very safe space. I just got Horton, here's a who in my head, uh, you know, Horton trying to find a place, a safe place for these who's that live on a flower. And their lives are in danger, but they live on a flower and the, fl the speck on a wish, a speck on a wish. On one of these little Dr. Seuss things, I swear to God, some of the California or the Los Angeles plants that are being planted look like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. I almost said novel. Hmm. Nevertheless. But without these changes, um, you know, we don't know we're going through these changes. Like, everything is being pulled to where it's supposed to be. And that's so super uncomfortable that it's like, we don't want to do it. Yeah, naturally. But the other side of that is not becoming something that you're supposed to become um and right there i just got uh that um abundance like the, the rightful divine abundance um so nevertheless worry 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 this is what we're worried about yeah are any are there any other king of cups out there because man, seems a little bit like Red Riding Hood. Yeah, you have to, you have to fish out. You gotta sort out. I mean, that's the way it goes. Okay. Because when you running around with this King of Cups energy, with this debonair all the way up, nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Uh, legit. Um, everyone you're coming across just isn't where you're at. That's it. But continue, because people are talking, people are talking. They really are. They're talking. Um, not necessarily in, 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 in large amounts, but uh, wherever you go, you are remembered. So, um, yeah, this is, this is uh, please don't talk yourselves out of anything that comes your way, because I'm telling you, um, I almost talked myself out of going to um, a backstage invite, and because my, my intuition was going, this is not a good idea, this is not a good idea at all, and it ended up being okay, but you could just tell that every, all the paid actors that were there, uh, including myself, were um, <laughs> like, we shouldn't have done this! Um, nothing horrendous, but we were, uh, there for a prank on a comedian, and as a person who, um, has a, a stand-up act, uh, I'm like, this seems like it's just asking for karma, um, and not good karma, and as of late, I've only been, uh, updated to the fact that I have good karma because I got a cat. <laughs> And according to Taylor Swift, who I feel like validates me, okay? Karma is a cat purring on your lap, okay? Karma is a cat. So, um, beyond that, uh, we pulled this prank on a comedian, and, um, the thing is, like, a part of me was like, I don't even, like, care. This, this guy gets paid so much to do what he does, so, and if he doesn't, uh, he still is getting consistent gigs, and, um, uh, you know... He was okay. He was okay. But at the same time, what do I mean he was okay? Like, he literally got pranked. He knew immediately he had gotten pranked and still did his set. <laughs> Which I went in my head. But I'm also looking at these two new befriended people and they're like, this is weird. And I'm like, yeah. Did y'all get that feeling before you answered the, the request? And they were like, yeah. Yeah, we all felt that way. But this could go very poorly because the industry really does have um, 
kind of a, an insecurity to it. And um, the, really, the, the thing is, like, in uh, whatever it is that you're pursuing, it's, I mean, goodness gracious, I mean, it's one of the reasons why I got into tarot. I absolutely loved being able to identify uh, feelings that were in the future but coming toward, like, you know how you can feel energy coming? Um, it's like, oh, something's changing. Do you feel that? Mm, I go based on senses of feeling, um, you know, probably a, <laughs> some kind of a healing response to uh, not being able to feel it all. So, one more card for the collective. Dude was fine, by the way, but he was like, all right. And he, oh my gosh, his, his, uh, uh, ending, re, uh, his, his nightcap was, um, I mean, I'm going to get out of here, though, guys. So uh, thanks very much. This was interesting. And uh, what, are we, like, taking questions or something? He just was so ready to leave. He was, like, not impressed. But, uh, yeah. Exactly. I mean, I guess this is just self-explanatory. But, guys, if we did know the future, it would be no effing fun. And I don't think we would do anything to, like... I, re I heard at one time that we wouldn't, we wouldn't do anything if we knew it was coming. That might be true. That actually might be true. You gotta work for it because with the experience comes even better um, results. So 